Driving on electricity is typically cheaper on an Outlander PHEV or any other EV for that matter. Now, at what price point the electricity becomes less affordable than petrol? Is there a limit? Let's take a look at three modes of driving in suburban, in motorway driving, and then finally on a steep mountain climb. If you look at the suburban driving, I would be doing maybe 5.5, 6 liters per 100 kilometers. The alternative is to do around 170 watt hours per kilometer. On motorway driving, it rises to about 7 liters, maybe 8 liters per 100 kilometers, or 230 watt hours per kilometer. If you're going on a steep ascent, you will be using 21 liters per 100 kilometers or around 600 watt hours per kilometer. On the electricity, we need to add about another 15%, even 20%, not quite, for the efficiency at the time of charging. So let's have a look at the results now. On the suburban, including the efficiency of the wall charging, wall to wheel charging, it's equivalent to pay roughly about 36 to 44 pence per kilowatt hours rather than spend the money on petrol. On the motorway, the result is very similar with 35 pence. And then finally, on this very steep alpine climb, again, anywhere between 34 and 41 pence is the break-even point for choosing between petrol and electricity on a pure affordability and cost decision. If you look around in the UK, you will find quite a few charging stations that are hovering around that mark, somewhere between 30p, which is classic on electricity, to 35p or even 40p. So that means that if you can spare the time, then it would typically cost you just about the same to drive back home on electricity rather than on petrol alone.